If you have ever coached little kids, then you know how influential and persuasive words from a father can be. I can teach and I can coach and train a kid to hold a bat a certain way, stand a certain way in the batter's box in one practice, and the next practice, the kid will come back doing something totally different than what I had coached him to do. And so I ask, don't you remember what we talked about last time about how to stand here and how to hold the bat? And the kids will say, yes, sir. And then I say, well, why are you not doing it like I showed you? Why are you doing something completely different? And the kid usually says, well, because my daddy told me to do it this way. Words from a father carry a lot of weight. Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. John chapter 5, verse 32 says, There is another who bears witness about me, and I know that the testimony that he bears about me is true. The other witness Jesus is speaking of is his father. In verse 34, where Jesus says that he doesn't need to receive testimony from man, not even from John the Baptist, it's because he has a greater witness. So who is Jesus talking about? Well, Jesus is saying that his confidence in what he is doing and saying does not come from himself, nor does it come from other people like John the Baptist. It comes from his father. So did you hear that? Jesus' motivation, his confidence, his self-esteem was not derived from his own ego, and neither was it derived from pats on the back and attaboys from other people. It came from his father. There is another witness that testifies to me that what I am saying and doing is right and good and true, and I trust his words. Jesus listens to the father, watches the father, and then performs, and the father says, yes, you got it. Good job. So hear this message from Jesus this morning. Our confidence, our affirmation comes from God the Father, from Him and Him alone. His word, His will. He's pleased with us when we are pleased to trust in His Son. But don't miss this because this is how God originally wired the universe and relationships to work. That words from a father carry weight. And those words either build you up or tear you down. And that's why some of you may have worked and worked and worked to impress your earthly father so you could hear him say, you're doing a good job. It's why some of you have a hard time understanding that God is a loving father because you never saw that or received that from your earthly father. But don't miss out on the most important words from the most important father. That being, well done, good and faithful servant. As you pray today, please remember Boris Lebedev and his family our missionaries in Georgia. And also remember the Mandarin LifeWord broadcast heard throughout China.